guys, Jason the X for SCNS Live, powered by Cinelinks.com, and this is the figure review of the Star Wars The Black Series Captain Phasma figure. Yes, finally found one, and uh, it's it's really good. I, I like it. I can only say so many things about it before we get on into this review, so let's get her out of the way. And take a look at the box as she comes in. You've got Star Wars The Black Series. You've got her very distinctive helmet there. Almost you can kind of see the chrome in there. Captain Phasma on the side. you got Captain Phasma. She is number six of the Series 2 line. And on the side, you got a little bio for her. And they don't really uh, say that she's a girl in here. And I, I like that. I really wish, I want to say right now, I wish that they had kept this character secret and we wouldn't find out who it was until like you know some badassery happened in the movie and she takes off the helmet and everybody's like <gasps> but we were denied that so anyway it had been a totally samus from metroid moment but anyway this is a really really good figure i mean check out the detail i mean her armor is not your standard stormtrooper armor it is very different it's got all kinds of great little details in there but check out that visage i mean she doesn't have the normal ports up here this thing looks terrifying. You got some uh, little lines going down the back of the helmet. And it's actually, she's a lot beefier than other Stormtrooper armors. I mean, even the pieces on the side, they're a lot bigger. I'm going to go ahead and get that out of her hand just so we can check out the detail. You got the armor on the back. You got the black body glove underneath. I mean, there's a lot of similarities to Stormtrooper armor, but we're going to bring some in here. We're going to show it off. Of course, you got the little peg there. She can store her weapon. Uh, very, very different boots and shin guards. Of course, this cape, which is just awesome. Kind of like a little bit harder on the points where it uh, it kind of folds over, but relatively, uh, relatively soft. Of course, with that red line denoting her command. I mean, this is a great figure. Let's go ahead and take a look at the back here. She's got those kind of standard ports there. They didn't even need to put that on there, I mean, but they did anyway. So yeah, I mean, if you can find this character, uh, I can understand why people are really just snatching it up. Now, she does have a very distinctive rifle too with this gold color. It's got the full stock and no trigger guard. Um, to, for comparison, I'll bring in the uh, Snowtrooper's rifle. So you can kind of see. And they're basically the same piece, but I mean, hers looks just a, uh, i got to put it up the camera, hers just looks a little bit like, uh, well, I guess it is pretty much the same size, but yeah, hers has distinctively got that gold finish on there, no trigger guard, it still has the same peg on the side that can uh, go into the uh, thigh, still got that slit, she does have that in common with the other stormtroopers, so you can just store it right there. But yeah, really cool figure. And she holds her gun very, very well. We'll just throw that in there. So you just, Come on, get in there. There we go. And she can get that uh, that two-handed grip a lot better than the uh, First Order Stormtroopers, which is the kind of thing I hate about those guys. They should all be able to hold their weapons like this. The Snow Trooper can, and so can Phasma, so why were they denied? Now, one thing, my, my ankle joint on mine is a little bit loose. And get into articulation, we'll just go ahead and do that, so... She does have uh, some very nice ankle joints. Like I said, mine is a little loose over here. She'll sometimes fall over. I can fix that later. I uh, got some ratchet, kind of soft ratchets on the double knee joints. The leg can twist. Got a little bit of uh, a little bit of like discoloration there. Can not twist. You're not going to get much because as soon as you get this hip armor up, it hits underneath this belt and the side of the figure. It has a torso articulation nice ball joint there I don't know if she has waist articulation it doesn't feel like she does you got uh, wrists that go back and forth and uh, do a 360 single jointed elbows come on guys let's get with the program here she doesn't have a bicep swivel but you can get the armor underneath the armor like all the other figures and you can uh, use this ball joint at the shoulder but it's about as far as you're going to get with it but yeah, no, uh, kind of like the Stormtroopers, no bicep articulation. She does have um, a hinge and ball joint underneath here. You can get a little bit out of it. Not much, but at least she can look kind of straight up and forward. Of 
Comparison wise, let's bring in a couple of other uh, stormtroopers here. Here she is with the First Order Stormtrooper, and you can see she is clearly taller than he is. And here's the uh, Snow Trooper. I figure those are the best ones to put her next to, because that's what you're going to see her against, except when she's not kicking butt. And I hope this character kicks a lot of butt in the movie, because I love this armor design. I love how it looks. I love this cape. It's really unique. And as you can see, there's a lot of differences between this helmet, in case you were wondering. So, you can see, yeah, hers has got this more of a lip, no uh, port on the side. The profiles are a little bit different, but I mean, it's a bigger helmet, of course. The lines on here, whereas this one's smooth. If you look at the armor here, it's a lot beefier around this area. And like I said, there are some similarities, but, you know, if you get down here to the legs, everything looks the same. She's got very distinctive boots. So, yeah, she's not just a carbon copy of the First Order Stormtroopers. Like I said, if you can find this character, definitely recommend picking it up because she's pretty awesome. I love how much bigger she is, and like I said, I'm excited for everything. We got, you know, just 30 days left, guys, just 30 days left. So anyway, like this video, subscribe, you know what to do. Go down there, do that. Make sure you check out CNS Live, check out CineLeaks.com. And until next time, guys, I'll catch you later.